Let's go Kaylee. Kaylee, good morning. Good morning. Your ghost story. What happened, Kaylee? So when I was younger, I claimed to see like this older man, like just standing around doing whatever. And when I was about like four or five, my mom said she was sitting me down on the step tying my shoe. And I looked up the steps and was trying to tell her that he was standing there. And it freaked her out. And over the years, I, like, didn't know who he was. And then I found out that it was my great-grandfather who died way before I was born. And it just freaked everyone out, including myself. Wait, how did you find out it was your great-grandfather? Like, I found a picture of him standing with, like, a couple people in my family. And I was, like, asking, um, I think my mom or my grandmother, I was like, who, who is this man? And they were like, oh, that's your great-grandfather. And I was like, I've seen him before. Oh, and God. Oh, that's so okay. Funny. All right, Kaylee, one second. You were in the running. <gasps> At okay. least it was like a family member and not like true a murderer. Yeah. You know. Um, yeah. Let's go, Joanne. Good morning. Good morning. So this is your child, a five-year-old. They saw a ghost. Yeah. What happened? So basically, we lived in an apartment, and our next next door neighbor was a really close friend of ours. Is she really loved my daughter? Always left her gifts and everything. Um, and then one day, we saw my daughter talking into the hallway that leads to the front door of our apartment. Nothing, no one there, no one across, you know, on the other side. And we thought that, oh, she's five. She might have an imaginary friend. She did this a couple of days. And then it stopped. Six weeks later, this was in the middle of winter. Six weeks later, we found out that she passed in her apartment next door to us. Oh my God. And the timing was perfect with my daughter talking to someone oh. in the hallway. Whoa! Oh, I just got full body yeah. chills. So your daughter was talking to your dead neighbor? I, I, I don't know. Yeah. It's very possible. And that was the only, because she never did it ever again after that. That is... Okay. Wow. So cool. All right. Yeah, it, was, it was horrible. You know, like the apartment apparently was... You know, so sealed, and it was one of our really cold winters when we had the sure. blizzard and all that. So her apartment was basically a fridge or a freezer, and when it started to get warm, then there was an odor coming out. Got you. Oh, yeah. No. That'll do it. And why they found her, and we were just so, one, traumatized by the smell that was coming from eating yeah. from her apartment, but yeah. the, the fact that... We are looking six weeks back, and this is exactly yeah. when she was talking to someone in the hallway. Okay. Man. All right. Joanne, one yeah. second. You are in the running. Oh. My goodness. Okay. I feel like that should be a reminder to, like, check on your neighbors oh, if yeah. you haven't seen them in a For minute. For sure. Yeah. Uh, no. Greg, you actually live in a haunted house. Yes, I do. Um, I live at Overly, which is an old Civil War-type um, mansion that we renovated. And we have a ghost living there. Her name is Margaret Fabray, and we've actually figured out who she is. And uh, I've seen her a couple of times. My daughter has seen her a couple of times. One of the workmen there uh, saw her and never came back. And that didn't collect his check, didn't pass go, just never came back to work again. What, what does wow. she look like? Uh, she's about 13, and she looks like Shirley Temple. She's got the old Civil War-style dress on and the curly hair. And... She was sitting on a uh, the round stairs that you know the staircase, and I thought it was my daughter. I looked up and I looked right through her, oh and I said, God. "Oh, I'll look back and she'll be gone." I looked back. Nope, she's still there. Oh Holy, God. okay. And she she pretty chill for a ghost. She didn't bother me, but she scared the heck out of me. Yeah. And um, yeah. I told people about the story, and the people that lived there before me brought a picture, and said, "What did she look like?" And I explained it to her, and they said, "Like this." And they showed us a picture of the family that lived there in the 1800s. And a little girl had died in the house. And they said, is that her? And I went, oh, yeah. Oh my God. Wow. So at our pool, they write letters to Margaret every Saturday about the swim meet. So she's become a uh, local little hero. Okay. My talk to her. My daughter talks to her. Yeah. 
Yeah, that that okay. Am I lost for words, Greg? Yeah. All right, now. Greg. Uh, one second, you were in the running. My, I mean, at least she's a nice ghost. Yeah, yes. there is that. Uh, there is that. Let's go in Stafford. Carrie, good morning. Good morning. Okay, so you were home alone with your mother in law. That's scary enough. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> so I, I was my. I had a one month old son at this point. Uh, he's one now, but he was a month old, and I saw this shadowy figure at the end of the hallway Hmm. and i was like that's not martha my mother-in-law i was like that's not her i was like one she stays in her bedroom and then but then i look again and it's like man like these broad man shoulders and i'm like absolutely not my husband is not home i was like touch my baby and see what happens um and so then i talked to my mother-in-law and my husband about it later on And my husband was like, oh, my God, that's so crazy. Like, I used to see this figure coming down the stairs. Come to find out from his mother, she never told us, but her mother had passed in the house. And she had these big, broad man shoulders. (laughs) Oh, my gosh. (laughs) And I was like, so Frankie was just watching me from the end of the hallway um, with the baby. And I was like, I was like, I guess that's sweet. Um, definitely creepy. Yeah. Um, yeah. But now, yeah. like my son randomly babbles like in the corners, or like randomly babbles upstairs, like in her bedroom, like her old bedroom. Oh God. Um. So yeah, mm. yeah. If, you were ready to fight yeah. a ghost. <laughs> yeah. If you ever feel like a, a strong pain in your chest, Carrie, that's just the great grandma putting her big ass shoulders right oh through you, God. laying down the law. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. I was, it was so scary. I was like, I will fight a ghost. Yeah. 100%. Yeah, for I sure. For okay. Uh, Carrie, one second. You were in the running. My goodness. Uh, let's go in Forest Hill. Connie, good morning. Good morning. Can you hear me? Oh, I can, girl. So you were in Italy. What happened? Yeah, so I was in Italy um, at an Airbnb traveling, and I was there with family, and I chose to sleep in the like a the attic room, which looking back at it wasn't a good idea. Yep. Um, but the whole entire night I woke up from having nightmares and I was in the room with my ex boyfriend at the time and I woke up to like feeling with my hair being played with. And like the moment I woke up and looked at my phone, it said it was five o'clock on the dot. And mm. he woke up too, which he was a really deep sleeper, which surprised me. And the whole entire night, I could not roll over. I was frozen in fear. And he was having his feet played with. And that whole entire night, I laid there. And I didn't say a single thing except I wish it was morning. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. And he said, yeah, I know. And then the next morning, we talked about it. And I don't know. There was something in that room with us. That is so That's creepy. creepy. I hate all of that. Yeah. Okay. Connie, one second. You were in the running. Um, someone playing with your hair and yeah. it's not Mm-mm. the person you're sleeping next to. And your feet mm-hmm. sees being a little no. tickled. Nah, not Creeps for that. Let's go to Upper Marlboro. Brian, good morning. Good morning. When you were a child, Brian, what happened to you? Oh, man. So I was a child. I was living with my uh, grandfather in Northeast D.C. And uh, my grandmother, she was, uh, she was big on making uh, religious sculptures. And, um, you know, their house was always creepy to begin with, uh, with all the creaks and cracks. But when I started living there, I was about eight years old. And I remember one night I was having some really terrifying nightmares, like some demonic nightmares. And I remember when I woke up, I was in the air and I woke up falling into my bed. Whoa! And it was a thunder, it was thundering and lightning outside too. I was sleeping next to the attic, no less. Um, and, uh, yeah, I woke up and I fell into my bed. And when I looked up to the walk, my grandmother had like a, uh, Virgin Mary sculpture in the uh, room with me. And it was almost like, uh, uh, it was almost like a complete calm came over me when I looked at the sculpture, almost like she was like, she was, she was there protecting me. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and, uh, I mean, I've had similar uh, incidences of the same sort. But that was, I think, that was the one of the worst ones, one of the most memorable ones. Yeah, I bet. I bet. Yeah, okay. Terrifying. All right, Brian. One second. You were in the running. My 
God. That is so scary. That's so creepy. Uh, you can vote I for your cry. favorite over text 99338. Yeah, because that's one of those ones, too. Like, once your like your brain tells you something's off, then yeah. it's, like, impossible. I mean, yeah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't go back to the damn, to the nope, damn place. Never. There. Damn. Never again. What, this place is haunted? No. Oh, no. I don't know. Like, like my it. first apartment in Atlanta, every single night for the three weeks I lived there, I had sleep paralysis. And oh, then it went icky. away once I moved. And, that like, there were signs everywhere crazy. that it was, like, part of, like, the battle of, like, Peachtree or something. Okay. So, like, there was, like, next to, like, a battle site. So, I've always thought, like, maybe that's why. Sure. But I was an apartment complex. So, but I don't know. Wasn't, isn't your parents, like, uh, the facade of their place, like, 100 years old, something like that? Yeah. So, the basement where I used to live is, like, 130 years old, I think. Oh, yeah. For so sure. I, I lived that's down there for it. a really long time because they made it into, like, a, you know, in law suite or something. And... I never had, I only ever had one weird dream and that was like when I was sleeping and I could see the bathroom mm. and the lights kept flickering, but that yeah. could be, I don't know. And it was after the grudge came out. So I was like, oh, uh, yeah, 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 maybe. Yeah. That's fair. That's fair.